The Ayatollah regime in Iran makes a series of threats against the U.S. and regional allies, triggering speculation of a possible military conflict. One America's Christian Rose looks into the matter. Heightened tensions between the U.S. and Iran spark speculation of a possible third war in the Persian Gulf. On Wednesday, the Ayatollah regime announced it would resume nuclear enrichment and threatened to block the strategic Strait of Hormuz in response to U.S. oil embargo. The U.S. has sent a fleet and strategic bombers into the area. Our focus over the weekend was to deter, you know, we saw the intelligence and so we sent uh, some messages on Friday. Uh, to make sure that uh, there it was clear to Iran that, that uh, we recognized the threat and we were posted to respond to the threat. The Pentagon says it's monitoring Iranian activities in the Gulf, including its deployment of ballistic missiles sent in by boats. For years, the U.S. has urged Iran to change its behavior. This includes Iran abandoning its nuclear and missile programs, stopping exports of radical Islam across the region, and ending support for its proxies, such as terror groups Hamas and Hezbollah. The the Ayatollah regime says the U.S. is demanding too much. If they decide to use our actions as a pretext and return Iran's dossier to the U.N. Security Council, they will face a very strong reaction. I have explained in my letter to the five countries what this strong reaction will be. Meanwhile, President Trump on Wednesday announced a move to crack down on Iranian exports of industrial metals, adding to existing sanctions on Iran's oil and financial sectors. The Ayatollah regime is facing economic hardship, which could trigger a popular upheaval. To prevent this, Tehran might be considering provoking a conflict with the US and pose as a victim of aggression. This could be the only way the Ayatollah regime could maintain its influence in the Middle East. Remember the, what they call the Shia crescent that Prime Minister Netanyahu would talk to me about, that is Iran's expansion into Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, uh, Gaza, and then also in Yemen with the Houthi rebel, rebels. It's been uh, very much an expansionism of Iran in the region. U.S. officials reiterated they do not want a war with Iran. However, an Iranian attack on U.S. military installations or regional allies could trigger an American response. Meanwhile, an Iranian blockade of the Strait of Hormuz would cut off some 30 percent of the global oil supply and hurt U.S. allies as well, requiring a reaction from the U.S. Uh, they've made a number of statements about actions they threatened to do in order to get the world to jump. Uh, we'll, we'll see what they actually do. The United States will wait uh, to observe that. Trump administration officials say tougher sanctions on Iran will leave the Ayatollah regime no choice but to negotiate. But some believe sanctions might be pushing Iran closer to military aggression. Christian Rose, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.